All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cade Gaming. Today, I'm going to introduce you to something called Peglin. Uh, Peglin is currently in early access, and this is kind of a game that combines roguelike elements with Plinko or Pachinko or games like that. If you ever played Peggle, uh, this is very much like that. And it's kind of an RPG as well in a lot of ways. So go ahead, grab a coffee, and let's dive right in. Um, you do have different unlockable characters. I've played about 10 hours so far, so I have the main character still. So I'm going to take this, uh, and I'll continue here. And at the very beginning, there are three random artifacts that I can choose to take. Um, so heal two every time the board is refreshed. All attacks gain plus one crit damage. Uh, or the board will contain an additional crit peg. Um, I actually really like the idea of the additional crit opportunity, so I'm going to go for that instead. And then the way that the game works is, as you can see, we have this map. Uh, after you beat a level, you choose what direction to go in. And there are random encounters, there's treasure chests, you name it. So here at this primary battle screen, you can see my little character on the left, my health bar over here on the left, and then kind of a, a description of the ball that I currently have activated. Uh, if I want, I can throw away this ball by pressing the backspace button. You can do it once per turn, and then I'll skip to the next ball. Uh, it won't be gone permanently, because you do reload when you run out of balls. Uh, and then up here at the top, you can see where my enemies are, their health bars, and on the far right, you can see what's upcoming. So the goal of the game is to essentially shoot your ball, hit a bunch of pegs, and you see these numbers popping up. That number is how much damage you're going to do. Uh, and if I show you a little bit of a closer look here, on the left where it shows the description of the ball damage, the two is the regular multiplier for damage for the ball when I hit orbs. The three is if it is a crit. So if my ball hits one of these yellow exclamation marks, I'll have a crit. Uh, the bombs, you throw them. If you hit them twice, blow them up and they'll hit everyone for 50 damage. Uh, they also launch your ball back up. So I'll show you here. It shoots your ball physics wise much higher. And then finally, the green R's on the board, those are reloads. So if you hit that, for example, it refreshes the entire board. So, oh, sorry, not reload, refresh, excuse me. So that is what allows you to, to continue to keep hitting pegs and hopefully keep hitting bad guys. So early on, uh, right now I don't have any AoE damage outside of these bombs. So my goal is actually to hit some more bombs. So that way I can make sure I'm killing multiple enemies at the same time. Um, this game, to clarify, so I have, I've played about 10 hours so far. I have, I think, mixed feelings about the game overall. I think it is really, really fun. I love Peggle. I, I am going to make a video of it at some point so people can see. It's an, it's an older game, but it's worth your time. Um, the physics, I think, are a little off. The physics are something I want to see kind of improved upon a little bit. They can be frustrating at times, but uh, here is the end of combat screen right here. So you could choose. My money is up here in the top right. I can choose. Do I want to upgrade one of my current orbs that I have? Uh, I can buy a new orb up here as well, uh, or I can heal myself if I need to. Um, I think what I do, I love this ball lightning. What it does is it zaps an extra peg every time it hits something. Um, and you can also target any enemy on the field. So you can pick an enemy in the back instead of the one in the front. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna buy this. And that's all the money I have for now. And now I choose by bouncing whether I wanna go left or right. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can land safely. Yes, perfect. Um, and that is the core mechanic. So from here, you kind of keep playing. You have new boards, you have new enemies, new challenges that pop up. Let's see what we got in our chest here. We can choose one. Whenever you heal, deal 3x the recovered health as damage to the targeted enemy. Or 
Projectile attacks have overflow. Overflow causes excess damage to carry over to the next enemy. Um, I love it. I'm gonna take that for sure. Um, gosh, I don't remember what the map looks like already. I'm gonna go left. Let's try and stay somewhere towards the middle so I can kind of choose what direction to go in. I see the elite down here. Those always give you like a relic at the end, but they're also notably harder fights. Um, let's see if we can do like a bank off the side. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. And we got the crit in there. Perfect, okay. I love it, and you saw that overflow, right? It killed the first one and went on to the next guy too. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this crit going here. So, um, it is really, really fun. It's like, I, this type of game is one of those games where there's definitely some finesse behind the build that you go for, because you can get things that combine really, really well um, and really do improve the gameplay. It's, it's tremendously fun. Um, there, are, <laughs> I mentioned it before, there are times where, like, it can be pretty frustrating, especially with the physics, stuff like that happens, right? Where you're like, ugh. You know, um, perhaps I'm used to different physics or something like that too. And I think one of the one of the interesting things, take it or leave it, is each orb has different bounciness. So you know, some things are a little heavier than others too. Uh, here's that lightning orb I was telling you about. I'm very excited to show you. So it, it will hit an extra peg every time. So you can see how it's zapping extra stuff for me. That often helps me hit some bombs, some crits, anything that I might be missing. Uh, so I really, really appreciate having a lightning orb. Uh, every time I run out, I do that reload. The enemy does get a turn while you are reloading. So that is something to bear in mind. You do want to try and be as efficient as possible. Early on, it's not too hard, of course, depending on the enemies that you're fighting, you know? You might be okay. Later on, though, you really don't want to dilly-dally. You want to try and be as efficient as possible. Uh, in your shots. There we go. And that should be enough to kill him. Perfect. Okay. Um, do I want to buy another orb? Collateral ball damage. I love all the ball puns. Oh my god. Uh, convert every nine orbs hit to red bombs. Red bombs, by the way, if you don't know, red bombs are way stronger. They deal 300 damage instead of 50, but they also hurt you for three. So you kind of want to be a little careful there. Twoos, Twoos company. Uh, crit a ball. Every attack is a crit. Convert every eight. Okay. Doesn't activate crits when hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And reorbani reorbanizer. Shuffle. <laughs> I kind of want to take the clatter ball damage. This is going to help me, I think, have some AoE, which really does matter to me. And then I'm going to upgrade as well. How does this change? The first one becomes bad. That's tempting. Zaps two additional every. I kind of want to do that too. Yeah, I'm going to start here. I do like that lightning orb. It's so helpful. And then, ooh, I can do a random encounter. Let's do that. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we get. Oh, I see a store down here. Ooh, okay. Random encounter is a fight. <laughs> uh, cool, cool kind of screen though. So this orb, by the way, the dag orb has very, very weak regular damage, but it has very high crit damage. So usually this is the ball you want to use if there is a chance to hit a crit. So like that. See, I went from 16 to 1. So major improvement. Um, it's also something I should consider using when there are more enemies because I now have that, that hammer that makes extra damage go on to the next enemy. Uh, and I didn't mention it before, but um, to clarify, all these little yellow circles inside of orbs, those are all coins. So hitting those will just help get you a little extra money for the post-combat screen or for any stores or anything like that too. Um, I'm gonna just straight up and down, see how much, yes. See, screens like this, where it's now getting three orbs per hit, that helps me go all the way through. Perfect, okay, see what we can do here. Big ol' explosion. It didn't hit too many pigs, but it's gonna throw the bomb. And that'll help in the grand scheme of things there. Here we go. Okay, this one is the turn stuff into... Oh. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try and 
reload, yeah. There it is, okay, we made a bomb, and that'll explode all of them. 300, or 150, excuse me, 150. And it hurts me for three. Another ball lightning, very tempting. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade my ball lightning. No, I'm gonna upgrade my, my collateral ball damage here. Um, I know it does self-damage, but I can heal after every single thing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the right again. Let's get, let's get another random encounter, see what happens. I don't have enough money for the store, so I'll probably skip it unless we get a lot of money here. You reach a clearing that is unusually slimy. You progress cautiously, but still lose your step. Three orbs fall into the slime and you only have two hands. Which one do you let sink into the slimy abyss? Uh, so I'm gonna lose an orb by doing this. I do not want so many pebbles. Those are our basic balls, so I'm gonna drop those. You, instinct you instinctively snatch up an orb in each hand, but you watch as the pebble disappears deep into the muck. Oh no, not my pebble. Uh, I am going to try and get over here because I can't afford anything with 13 gold. So we're going to see what happens. And we're going to the store anyways. <laughs> what can you do? Um, so let's see. Maybe, I mean, yeah, no. So you can always remove orbs at stores. That's always nice. I try to get rid of those basic orbs. They're not always the strongest in the world. Uh, you can buy artifacts, which clearly I cannot, aff cannot afford a single thing here. And then you can also buy balls. Unfortunately, we have no money. <laughs> All right, let's see. Another random encounter. You catch a glimpse of an ethereal piglin. It appears to be some kind of echo of its former self or yourself approach the echo let's upgrade an orb um let's upgrade the well let's see what is level three for collateral ball damage uh i'm gonna upgrade the lightning orb i love this lightning orb the echo imbues you with its remaining power before fading away here we go i do like little easter egg but the pegs are typically reflective of whatever you're doing, right? They might show a treasure chest. They might show the, the ghost paglin like that. All right, a chest. Whenever the board is refreshed, you'll damage to all enemies equal to the number of pegs restored. That's not bad. The board will contain an additional refresh. I am definitely taking the refillabus. Refillabuster. That's gonna be a good one. And then yeah, you can see here, the Hordes of chest. I like that. That's a nice little, little detail that they peppered in there. All right, here we go. New combat. This is our first chance to show you ranged enemies. Ranged enemies will shoot you from a range, of course, no matter what the distance. Um, so it's always helpful, I would say, in instances like this, to have a way to hit them. Um, they don't go every turn, which is nice, but you always want to be a little careful. Yes, we got our crit. We got our... That might actually finish it right there for us. Perfect. Oh, and there's one more guy. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we do here. Okay, so we got some of those going. Obviously, it doesn't do any damage. Um, at this stage... I mean, I'll take three damage, but... Oh, I can't. I have to... If I aim here, you have to click inside the square here. Yeah, I'll take a regular bomb too, because that's just gonna damage us. Boom, and then money, of course, is smart too. Any Hitting any of those orbs is icing on the cake. Boom, okay, perfect. So do we need a new orb? Trigger a crit. I think I'm gonna skip that, but I am gonna upgrade an orb. I think I wanna upgrade my dag orb. So you'll see that crit multiplier now goes up to 10, especially when you pair it with our hammer over here, the over whammer. Um, I think that's gonna be huge later on. And now we gotta choose, now we gotta choose. I'm gonna go for the right. I want another random encounter. Sometimes these can be good. And I do see that elite right there. In the woods, you find a clearing with a strange tree directly in the center. There is a nook in the trunk with brambles twisting wildly out of it. 
breach into the nook, shake the tree, or continue. Um, do I want to lose HP? I'm guessing I'll get like a bramble ball. What is the shaking gonna do though? Let's risk it. Let's shake the tree. You shake the tree with all your might and from somewhere high in the boughs, an egg shakes loose. You're able to save it by catching it in your satchel. We have an egg now, y'all. I wanna show you, I wanna do an elite fight if I can here. Maybe I'm not, question mark. <laughs> oh my God. I am so sorry, family. I wanted that. Uh, that's fine. We'll get to a boss here in a minute. Random encounter and of course it ends up being a fight. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get started here. Let's see what we can do with our electricity ball. Um, I I do love how much that clears out. It's all these little slimes too, which is super cute. Um, bomb orb, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna want that for this one. There's gonna be a, a bunch of enemies as you can see here on the right. It doesn't deal damage, but again, we are going to now be able to spawn a bomb. And if I play my cards right, actually, that's fine. I didn't deal damage once again, but now the last enemy is gonna pop up and now I can hit this bomb and that should kill everyone on the screen. Everything else is just gravy. Um, let's see, let's see how it goes. Boom, done. <laughs> Slosh Buck Orb, Buck Orb. Uh, gold collected from hits contribute an additional damage. I love it. Um, ooh, what's this one? Signal loose orb. This orb is affected by must circle, spin S, and ball ants two times. Um, I think I just want to upgrade another orb. I am going to, I'm going to upgrade the dag orb a third time. And let's continue. Let's continue. No matter what we do, we're going to get a chest on this one. That's always a plus. I like getting more relics. They typically help. And one great quality of life thing they inserted in this game is if you don't like your options, you can skip right some of these relics are not are not great i don't want them right so flying enemies are attacked horizontally allowing for improved targeting or your reload move or sorry your refresh moves after every shot uh i'm gonna go ahead and take the grabby hand i think that will help with some of these flying enemies we did see just now we saw our our bats show up for the first time it's the first flying enemy all right, so this is the first boss, first area. Uh, the red slimes make your ball just kind of sink. So they take away all momentum, which I think is a, an interesting mechanic. I, unfortunately, I do think it's a little unfun. As you can see, all of a sudden, you're not, your orb's not bouncing anymore. And on this map, it's the same first boss as I've played a couple of times, of course, and, and this is the same one every time. But it just, it doesn't allow you to bounce. It doesn't allow you to bounce and therefore it's not as fun or exciting. Um, so you kind of end up saying, what am I gonna do here to be able to accomplish this, you know? Um, stuff like that, right? At least my orb that deals no damage is able to clear all those out. But when I reload, I get all that back again and I'm switching sides here. Um, I'm gonna skip that. What is the egg? Heals you for each peg hit. Permanently breaks when hitting something solid on the pegboard. Um, okay, well that's... Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, all right, let's see what we can do. Let's see how high up we can get this lightning orb. Yes, we're getting some damage in there at least. But I think we're going to need to hit him a little harder if we want to be able to make it through. Get a last shot before we reload and something happens here. There we go. Can we hit that? Nope. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. 40. Alright, family's got 192 health left. We reloaded. We we are now absorbed by the bad guy. Uh, I'm gonna start with a bomb. See what we can do here. Ooh. Yeah, these red slimes are brutal. Brutal, brutal. Okay, Dag Orb, we have to hit. We have to hit a crit. Yeah. Oh. Crit. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. We're doing great, family. Okay, let's see if we can just drop all the way down the side here. Yeah. 
Let's see how much damage we can do with that. I think that's gonna help us a little bit. And then for our last shot here, I'm gonna skip over by pressing backspace, and I'm just gonna use this electricity orb right here. Honestly, truly. Um, ooh, perfect. It, it zapped him when it hit stuff, so that's perfect. Uh, and we get fully healed after beating the boss, so we're good there. I, hmm target any enemy. I kind of want to skip over. I'm going to upgrade again. I think this is going to help us, you know, in the long run there. And let's continue. We don't have to heal either. And then a relic. All regular bombs are replaced with the fiery bombs and deal double damage. Randomly adds two orbs to your deck, then randomly upgrades orbs four times. Not bad. Not bad. Battles start with twice as many gold, but all purchases are twice as expensive, and every orb will fire a copy of itself in the opposite of the aim direction, but you can only aim in four directions. Oh, geez. Uh, I'm gonna go for the... Gosh. Is it redundant? Because we have... I'm gonna take it. It's fun. I love it. Those, I mean, obviously you need ways to heal yourself, but... But I think that's going to make it a lot more fun. You're going to start seeing a lot more explosions happening. And they're going to deal 300 instead of 150. Um, I'm actually going to stop the video here. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Again, it is still in early access. It's available on Steam. And it's pretty fun. Honestly, truly. it's It's got some challenge to it. You have new mechanics in each area that you go to. There's new characters to unlock. There are countless orbs you can play with. Um, let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. Hello. Of course, thank you for your likes. Thank you for commenting. I always appreciate interacting with you guys. Uh, and as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It helps me so much. And there are new videos twice weekly, every Tuesday and Friday. My name is Cade. I hope you enjoyed your coffee and happy gaming.